हेलो व्यूवर्स एंड वेलकम टू रेडियो द्वारका प्राउड प्रोफेशनल सीरीज आज हमारी इस सीरीज में हमारे साथ है पवन शर्मा ही इज एन आईटी प्रोफेशनल ही इज अ सॉल्यूशंस लीड फॉर द नॉर्थ सेंट्रल यूरोप वर्किंग एट डीएक्सी टेक्नोलॉजीज he has over 25 years of an experience we want to understand from him about his career journey and how he has managed and handled bad situations or tough situations at times i just want to tell each of my viewers that sometimes what you think as a child as an ambition may not be your final destination but that destination is not a wrong destination but it may give you much more heights that you may have ever thought and i think pavan is such an example so let's meet pavan so hi pavan how are you and welcome to our show hello ruchi and thanks for inviting for this show it's our pleasure pavan and pavan i before i start the conversation i just want to tell my viewers one very good thing which you told to me earlier is that you really as a child wanted to be a doctor right by but today you're an it professional So you know how did that change happen and how did that change turn out to be Yeah uh, very good question so basically as a uh, as a student i was a very good student till my 10th grade but my performance deteriorated during 11th and 12th due to some personal reasons and family problems where my father was not keeping up well and in good health So what I did is uh, I gave my medical entrance exam, and since I was having a desire to do it, but it was not backed by the hard work, so obviously I was not selected, and I started pursuing my BSc in first year. Now during that time uh, I was doing BSc, but I myself was not sure what really I'm going to do next in life, and even my family and father was worried about it, that what would be the future for me. Now one. one day one of my cousin visited us and he asked me one question what really i want to do in my life and i was clueless and then he guided me and he told me what are the different avenues of anatomy what i can do and based on that he suggested me that i should leave bsc i should pursue commerce and i should pick up a course from niit which was a Three to four years course, backed by professional practice of one year. I listened to him. I followed it, but I followed it with a passion, and that is the way my stream changed from science background, from medicines to IT. So, uh, Now, Pavan, uh, sorry, uh, sorry to interrupt you, but just I, I, I actually quite. You know, as you said, I think I get passionate when I take interviews, so I think I can't stop myself. So I was just wanting to know that when this change happened, you know, and you took this, and I'm sure you had that passion to pick it up. But did you, uh, you know, post your qualification or maybe your graduation from an IIT? Uh, did you think, "Ab kya hoga?" You know, what will I do next? So. It- Uh, for the entire i've just completed 25 years of my professional life throughout this 25 years of professional life i never ever felt that i missed it or i could have entered into a better event rather i enjoyed each and every moment of my 25 years of professional life so it never happened with me because it was backed by passion passion to work passion to deliver something new and try something new, and try to be different okay and so uh, how did you get your first break you know because normally f- the first job is actually the first breaking job so uh, you know how did you get through on that if you would just like to share a, share it with our viewers so there were two interesting things which happened one is i uh, i came to know when i when i passed out i came to know that there were coordinators who used to call the students for interview one of my friends called a call for the interview i have not got that call and that time we don't used to have mobile phones we used to have landlines so once i came to know that he has received the call i called up uh, the uh, 
the center from where I was there, where there was professional practice uh, coordinators used to be. And I asked them, I received a call from you. Uh, is there some opening? And they immediately, they are not aware to call up and all. They say, oh, you go to such and such place and there is an interview schedule. And I went there and I was selected. And by chance, I got that on offer from Mobair. Uh, so I, I learned this, that always grab an opportunity, see wherever an opportunity is there. And this is the way I got my first break. But when I got this first break, my stipend was only 3,000 rupees, which is approximately 30 to 40 uh, USD per month, which is peanuts. And my sister told me that, why are you going for this? Rather, I'll pay for you the same amount. Then my father told me that, let him start. If he will not start with this 30 and 40 USD, which is 3,000 Indian rupees, he will never reach anywhere. And today, my father is no more, but I appreciate the way he shaped me up and the learning he gave me that if I would not have joined there, I would not have been here where I am there and meeting you at this forum. And uh, Pavel, I think uh, I've been in corporate myself, so I think normally any person who's there in any of the jobs always want to kind of say that what will be my next job, you know. How do I change? When do I change? How do I decide when to change? So I'm sure you had those things in your life and you've made a lot of changes in your career. You know, you've changed jobs, you worked with Dish TV, you worked with Hewlett Packard and I, I could see the kind of profile that you have. Uh, so how did you make your decisions of changing jobs yeah, you know, in your career? Anything that you would like, you know, help understand others so that they can learn through it? So, what really change means? Change means that there can, there can be multiple reasons for the change. Sometimes uh, the reason for the change is money. You, you want to change because you need more money for survival. Sometimes the change is passion, that you want to do something where you are not getting into current role. Sometimes there is a desire to do something different. Hmm or sometimes even in your personal circumstances because of your change. And in my case, uh, at different point of time, different things took place when I decided to change. But one thing I, I understand for last 25 years, wherever I've worked, and that is what I feel whenever you change, it should not be uh, that you are leaving the company and you should ignore whatever your responsibilities are there. You should be very, very cautious, rather you should be proper handovers and uh, uh, KTs to the people who are taking over your role instead of leaving it abruptly. And that is something which we, which I applied in my career extensively. Whenever I changed, I applied it. So the reason for the change were multifold. Uh, but one thing was continuous that for the last 25 years or wherever I worked, I never let shrug away from my uh, my responsibilities. I delivered them and handed over my responsibility to others. And this is something all should do in this professional life. So, I mean, um, you know, and normally uh, it's, it's generally there, you know, because uh, in the corporate world, there's lots of competition everybody wanting to run to the top you know uh, so you know there's always a hassle everything's going around everybody wants to cut the other one down to kind of grow so what's your take on it you know how would you advise the youngsters to handle their situations uh, you know what do you think worked for you can really work for work for others so my view is that uh, for any engagement Whenever you are working on any and for any company, you work for a project or you work for a program, you work for a bid or you work for some engagement, wherever you are working, you are not the only one who is working. You are working for a company, you are working with a team. And in such a case, the most important thing for the success, for your success or the success of that organization or success of that team is collaboration. That means if you collaborate well and you cooperate well, you don't hide the things and share it 
and you are open in your ideas then of course you will be successful and that project or program will be successful and your organization will be successful so my advice to anybody at any level of uh, hierarchy is that collaborate well and be open your in your thought process never hide the things be passionate be open Uh, Pavan, I think uh, just uh, I I just have one last question for you, really here, and I want to understand from you uh, that you've spent twenty five years of your career in the corporate, right? You just celebrated twenty five years. Uh, what are your proud, you know, moments or proud feelings or proud learnings in this whole career? As you said, you know, one of some of things you've already shared, but if I have to define um, yourself or your career as a proud career what are your top two learnings or which you would like everybody to really have which can actually expedite their career journeys so if i uh, look back into all these 25 years of professional life uh, i worked across multiple technologies multiple domains but what i relish the most is my friendship my relationship with my peers my team members my leaders my customers my partners and that is the most important thing i cherished throughout and each and every day i lived with them i enjoyed it so the biggest biggest achievement of this 25 years is my relationship with my with different set of people i worked with in different roles. Oh that's nice. Rest all rest all is the one which is just a derivative because technology keep on changing products keep on changing day and day out we are work on different uh, uh stuff everything is new but this is something which is continuous and I can proudly say still and the people who will be watching for my all past companies I have WhatsApp group with each and every of my team. Whatever happens in my life, I share with them, and I understand what they are doing. And this is true with whether I work with an IIT technology, is I work with uh, Dish TV, I work with Stereo, which is currently known as Sopra Stereo, DXC, HP, Spanko Telesystems, Inzadar Data Systems, and any other projects or programs. everywhere that relationship is sustained in that way so biggest achievement is people and the relationship with them and i think that's the network effect that is being talked about today right your network around you definitely helps us for you so um thanks uh, mr pavan i think it's great thoughts uh, and i think all our younger generations and people really need to understand that you know uh, and you've really picked up the right points you know uh, saying that respecting your elders listening to your elders following and having passion for your work are some of the keys that really drive success it's just that you have to stick to it and do it so so thanks a lot it's really a great interaction and we would wish you luck for all your future endeavors uh, and uh, back to our viewers i'm sure you liked the conversation and uh, you, we'll come back with more such programs and series with you so stay connected with radio dwarka if you're not a subscriber to radio dwarka kindly subscribe and join us if you are um, if you know somebody who would like to be part of this program please feel free to comment reach uh, or write back to us and we will like to feature the person and uh, definitely keep spreading the right information the motivation and inspiration so thanks pavan once again to be on our show thanks rachi